Hello everyone, so we will continue our PySpark tutorial and in this particular video we are going to see about the UDF user defined function in a PySpark. So how actually we can create a UDF function in a PySpark we are going to see and what is the use case that also we are going to understand. So let us understand. It is a most useful feature of a Spark SQL and data frame that is used to extend the PySpark built-in capability. Let's take an example and with that example let's try to understand. Suppose let's take one scenario. Suppose you have one of the data frame. In this data frame you have a multiple column like column 1, column 2, column 3 like that you have a multiple column. Now one of the column is representing the timestamp like you have a date and also the timestamp format the data is available like 23, 1, like that you have a timestamp in the timestamp you are getting a data. Now suppose your requirement is like you have to convert this timestamp into the date. Then what actually you will use in a PySpark we have a few inbuilt functions are available. So what actually I will use I will use a two date function and I will pass this column. Now what actually it will do it will try to convert my timestamp into a date and I will get a result like this 2024 and the 12. So this is the output I will get when I will use a two date. So from timestamp to date if we had to convert then what actually I was using I was using a two date inbuilt function which is available in a PySpark. Now suppose you have a specific requirement and for that specific requirement there is a no inbuilt function is available in a PySpark then what actually we can do we can create our own function and how actually we can create with the help of the UDF user defined function we can create our own function and then function we, we can use uh, anywhere in the data frame like we can reuse that function multiple places. So that is the advantage we get in a UDF. So if you already have a built-in function available then you can directly use but suppose if you have to create your own function then what actually we will use with the help of the UDF we can create that. So UDF are used to extend the function of a framework and reuse this function on a multiple data frame. Now let's take an example suppose you have a requirement. Now suppose you have one of the column. In this column you are getting all the name like this Manish, uh, Rani and all. Now what is your requirement? You want to convert this first letter into a capital case. So like this actually you want the output. Like the first letter should be in capital and like that. This is the output you want. So for this we don't have any inbuilt functions available in a PySpark. So what actually we can do? We can create our own function with the help of the UDF. We can write our Python code. And with the help of the UDF function, uh, we can reuse that function in a multiple places. So that is the advantage we get. One thing you have to remember, UDF are most expensive operations. Hence, we have to use them only. You have no choice and when essential. Whenever it is a very much essential and there is no other choice, then only use a UDF because it is a most expensive operation from the computation perspective. So that is the one thing you have to remember. So let's try to do a practical and let's understand. Now let's see how actually we can create our own UDF function. So suppose you have a specific requirement and for that specific requirement we don't have any inbuilt function which is available in a PySpark. Then what actually we can do we can create our own UDF function. For taking example I have one of the data frame. My requirement is like based on the age it should automatically find out if the age is less than 18 then it should group as a minor if the age is between 18 to 40 then it should consider as an adult if the age is greater than 40 then it should consider as a senior this is my specific requirement I have so if anyone is giving me age age column then based on the age column I should be able to find out if age is less than 18 then I will categorize as a minor. If the age is between 18 to 40 I will categorize as a adult. If the age is greater than 40 then I will categorize as a senior. This is a specific requirement I have. Now in this case what I will do I will create my own function. So what I will write I will write df I am going to create a function like how actually we create a in python. I am going to create one function age group and here I will pass a, a number. You can give the num or uh, Let's give the name as a age. So if anyone will pass any age based on that we will try to categorize. So we will give one condition if age is none then we will return as a unknown. If the age is less than 18 then we will return as a minor. If age is between 18 to 40 then we will consider as a adult. Otherwise we will return a senior. 
so this is a one function i have created this is one uh, simple how actually we create in a python i have created one function now to test it so suppose i will pass uh, i will call this function i will pass any number suppose i will pass a 40 so if you will pass any number here right based on that it will consider it is a senior so suppose i will pass a 39 then it will come into the adult category suppose if i'll pass a 10 so you have to pass the number you have to pass the age and based on that you can see different category we are getting so we have created one function now if you have to use it anywhere in your data frame in a pyspark right we have to register our udf so for that what actually we have to do we have to import few library if you have to use a udf function after creating a function you have to register also so that is the thing you have to remember so what i will do i will import a few library from pyspark.sql.function i am importing a udf this is a function i am importing and also i am importing from pyspark.sql.type i am importing a string type now if you have to register your function whatever you have created right let's try to register it i will give the name as a age group category something this name i will give age group category this is what i want to create now what i will use I will use a UDF function and I will try to register my function which I have created. So what is my function name? My function name is age group, right? This I want to register. I want to register. So in UDF, I will pass the age group. And the type also we have to pass. So whatever the output we are getting, the minor, adult, senior, these are the string type, right? So that's why I will pass the string type. So this is how actually you have to register your uh, udf function let me execute this now my udf function will be registered with this name this age group category with this my udf function will be registered now if you will pass any of the age so based on that it will categorize the uh, group so suppose in this data frame we have a age column right based on the age it will categorize the age let me show you so suppose if i will use a df dot with column I want to create a new column name as a age category and after that I will use this particular function which we have registered right this one and uh, which particular column we have a age column right this I will pass now if I will do dot so if I will execute this what actually we are doing we are passing a age column value here based on that what actually it will do it will categorize it and it will give you result so you can see if it is a if the age is 10 it is categorizing as a minor if it is a 25 then it is categorizing as an adult if it is a 60 then it is categorizing as a senior if it is a null it is categorizing as a unknown so now we have created one udf function and now anywhere we can use this udf function anywhere we can use this adf function it is like a built-in function like how we have a different built-in function like upper lower these are the different inbuilt function we have right similarly we have created one our function the function name is a age category this is the function we have created this we uh, this we have created here you will pass any of the age value you will get the uh, result you will get the age category so i hope you got the idea how to create a udf function and the use case